Hey, this is Mike. This is an awesome truck. If, if, if you want to see a premium heavy-duty hauling truck, uh, this, is, this is it right here. This is a 2015 Ram 3500 uh, Laramie Longhorn. Very, very uh, comfortable, tons of features, and massive uh, hauling capabilities and everything. So this one has the Cummins turbo diesel, the 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel engine, which is super high rated engine, as well as probably the best um, heavy duty transmission on the market, the Ison six speed transmission. So let's check it out. This one has the, the side steps already installed, which on a truck this big, it kind of helps to get in the vehicle. Let's check out the, the badge there. I hope you can see it with the, the sun, but we'll check it on the other side. But here in the front, we've got a LED accents, uh, HID headlights with the like a projector type system. You got fog lights, tow hooks, and a very interesting grill. It's like a, uh, it's textured, I guess you could say. It's like a, I don't know, wire, wire frame. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's, it sure is impressive looking. And this one does have the trailer tow mirrors. So basically, there's the mirror. It is a heated mirror. And it's two sections. Now, I can just grab a hold of it and lift it up. And I have more of a vertical mirror, um, which is supposedly helps with um, visibility while you're uh, tra trailering, pulling a bit trailer or something. But it is something you have to manually do. Now, these side mirrors will fold in automatically. It does have a button, and you can fold them both in at one time. Here's the key. It is a proximity key. So I can just have the key in my pocket, walk up, put my hand on the handle, it unlocks the doors. I can relock the doors using this button. So you don't actually have to take the key out of your pocket. You just walk up, put your hand on there, and get in. So, probably the most fun um, part of this vehicle is the interior. It has real wood grain uh, trim, and you can feel the grain in it. Everything pretty much is soft to the touch. I mean, everything. I mean, even even that. I mean, it's 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 a. Um, I mean, it does have a little bit of hard plastic here and there, but where you really touch the vehicle it's soft all this you got some stitching here and then you got a brown and black interior you got pockets everywhere seats are amazing looking um, there are uh, they have the perforations here for the heated and cool seats and um, this is this is a little tag that tells you how to care for your leather seats and then it has that badge right there Longhorn Edition it says Longhorn here and then you got that filigree design there you got a pocket on the side of the the console there um, that fits a full-size file folder now here's your this this comes with it. it's a these floor mats are already kind of like slush mats with a carpet in the middle and then you've got the longhorn design here it's like metal and they clip in place so they don't slide around on you very high-end floor mat that's got the barbed wire design up there and then filigree around it you have a kind of shiny ram threshold piece there it is a powered seat with lumbar support there adjustable lumbar support Back here, same high quality stuff. Um, there's no skimping on anything on the back seats. We've got the wood grain and all that stitched pockets. I 
high quality seats. Now back here, these seats are not cooled, but they are heated. And you do have your, your buttons there for your heated seats and you have a power supply as well. Cup holders there. Now, you even have the badge there. Now, as far as storage, um, it has a little storage pocket here, quick access. It has a little belt buckle design, but it's actually a magnet. So you can open it up, access some stuff, and then slap it back down and it stays in place. And um, you also have storage underneath the seat, which actually on this truck, it's just on that side. This side is your your uh, your subwoofer and your um, and your amplifier the here. Other side is storage. But you also have storage here on the floor. This kind of rolls up out of the way. And then this opens up. And this is like a it's a cooler, but you can use it for putting anything in there. Right now it has the, the adapter for the trailer hitch in it keeps it out of the way and it's a, it's a liner to where you can empty it and uh, refill it and stuff like that and it's completely in the floor and out of the way same thing with the the storage space on the on underneath the seat over there this right here is a fold flat feature to where it has little legs that pop out but you can fold that out and it, has, it gives you a flat surface to put stuff on it's especially helpful let's say you have a truck is already full of stuff or it's raining and you don't want to put something in the back you bought like a TV at Walmart or whatever and um, and you want to put it you can put it back here and that way it's out it's protected it's locked up it's uh, out of the weather and all that good stuff there's an armrest with some cup holders in it you got speakers up here Now, before I go too much further, this truck does have remote start, but the doors have to be locked. So I'm going to go ahead and lock them up, and I'm going to go ahead and start it up. It takes a minute since it's easy, but when it's ready, it'll go ahead and start up. Right here, it's got your Longhorn Edition hubcaps. course is a four-wheel drive truck you can get a two-wheel drive if you wanted to you have your your um, towing package there now this one has the the backup sensors parking sensors you also have a backup camera here and the tailgate will lock and unlock with the doors so right now they're locked the tailgate is locked and all the whole truck's locked. I had to do that in order to remote start it. So now I can just go ahead and unlock it. it unlocks all the doors. It also unlocks the tailgate. The tailgate is pretty easy to lift up and down. Now this one has the factory spray and bed liner. And it also, if you're planning on using like a, a fifth wheel or a gooseneck, you can have it uh, like the prep group. Um, the fifth wheel or the gooseneck prep group already done at the factory. And that way you can just bolt it right on down. You don't have to cut any frames or drill holes in a frame. It's already prepared from the factory um, with uh, basically just ready to go. You also have a plug here. This is where you put your fuel in. And you also uh, put your DEF fluid here. You don't have to get a ladder and try to reach it underneath the hood. It's right there next to the gap, to the, uh, the, the fuel filter, fuel gear, filler, sorry. Now this is an emergency, like a, like a road, like emergency kit. It's got like a, it's sealed up, but let's just kind of look in there. It's got a, uh, some flares and, um, a fire extinguisher and, uh, like flags and stuff like that. This is kind of like a roadside assistance type bag with some stuff in it now on the floor it does have the storage space just like the other side and this side has the fold flat feature it also has a uh, the storage in the floor now somebody's got something in here um, but that's what the storage looks like not sure what that is
All right, so here's the inside of the driver's door. And uh, what's special about it, it has your door locks, your power windows. It does have automatic front windows, but the rear ones you have to hold. And the side mirrors, this is the button here. You can push that and it folds them right on in, like so. And then you can push it again and unfolds them. And that way, in case you need to squeeze through somewhere or if you just don't want anybody messing with your mirrors, you can fold them in while it's parked. You can also adjust them here. And there's your automatic uh, headlight controls, your dimmer switch here. And this button is for your cargo light. There's a cargo light back here, which will illuminate the entire bed of the truck, which is really handy at nighttime. There's your presets for your seats. Right here is your adjustable pedals. The pedals will adjust um, in and out. Now this has a tilt steering wheel, which no telescoping. So the, the adjustable pedals really helps out with um, getting the right position while you're driving. This one does have a handle. Easy to get in and out of. All four doors have handles, which is cool. Some car, some trucks only have handles in certain places. I'm not sure why. But anyway. Now, since I used a remote start, I still have to push this button. It kind of turns everything on. Okay. So here's the steering wheel. It is a real wood grain here in the top. And um, it looks smooth, but it's very grippy. It's more grippy than the leather. It looks awesome, and it has a good thickness to it. And it keeps the, you know that part of the steering wheel from wearing out, because that's where a lot of wear happens in the top of the steering wheel. And on the steering wheel, you also have um, cruise control settings here. On the back of the steering wheel, I can push a button back here. You can feel it, but you can't really see it for your volume. And on this side, you can change through the stations on the back of the steering wheel. Now right here, you have a uh, your Bluetooth. Once you pair your phone, you can answer the phone there. Uh, voice recognition, you can kind of bark out some commands and like say call a certain person, go to a certain address, go to a certain station, stuff like that. And it'll, it has a, it does really good at recognizing your voice. Some of it's a lot better than most of them. And now right here is uh, these arrows. They correspond with this menu system here. So I'm going to go kind of scroll through just to kind of show you. Right now it's in speedometer. And you can see little icons here. It'll scroll through as I go. And it gives you a big digital speedometer. Scroll down more. This is the vehicle info screen. And I can go to the right or left. And it gives me all kinds of different information, basically. Oh, let me get back down there. Okay, so going to the right. Engine hours, tire pressure, transmission temperature, oil life, uh, fuel filter life battery voltage, uh, exhaust, the turbo, how much pressure is on the turbo, and also on the exhaust brake too, so it gives you that information as well. And then a summary. So scrolling down again gives your fuel economy in the moment, in your range. Uh, trip A, uh, now the trips also have, they have distance, they have average miles per gallon, average miles per hour, and elapsed time, so it gives you a lot of information other than just a trip. There's a the trip B. This is your trailer brake. Um, you can adjust the gain here. This is what your radio is doing. Stored messages will be right there. And uh, screen setup, you can uh, choose which, uh, which things you want in the corners and different things like that. And uh, commercial settings. This is, I'm not really sure what that is. I've tried to find out, I'm not really sure what it is. If you know, let me know, please. And then it goes back to the speedometer. And the gauges, let's see if I can get back here. They kind of have like a western filigree design and look to them. Awesome, awesome truck. You got soft touch dash with stitching. There's your shifter. You can, you can change to the gears right here. And uh, let me go ahead and put it in reverse so you can see what the backup camera looks like. And also, it'll pop up on the screen, your, your parking sensors pop up there. So once you, if you get close up to something, it'll give a visual clue and an audio clue so you know not to hit something. And of course, the backup camera helps out a lot. 
and you can see it it's going from the bumper all the way to the sky in a real wide range view so you can get a really good view of what's behind you up here we've got like a little quick access pocket there wood grain around it which is real wood I can feel the grains four-wheel drive controls are here and uh, so here's your 8.4 Uconnect system uh, right now it's on the radio it does have satellite radio AM FM you can adjust the audio controls there media uh, this is where you can I'll show you where the the connections are but it has a, a CD player a USB port auxiliary input as well as an SD card it also has a, the ability to play music through a Bluetooth device like your phone controls this is where you find your heated and ventilated seats on the front as well as a heated steering wheel climate climate control is off right now so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and uh, you can adjust your fan speed like so where you want the air to blow what the temperature you want which I do not want it high right now because I'm getting a little hot and um, and all that good stuff navigation this is where you can put in a specific address um, points of interest uh, you can put in your home address and all that stuff but you can also just view the map and just kind of see where you're at and uh, you can change the icon <laughs> to a truck it has a little car there but um, you can you go into options and go to settings and um, let's go to map setup vehicle icon and let's go through it and just kind of see you can actually put like a Viper there if you want it's funny they got um that's the 2014 icon for the Challenger. There's the 15 Charger. And there's a truck. Now, I don't think it has like a dually truck, but we'll just go with that. Phone. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, once you pair your phone, this right here will kind of pop up with your phone book, recent calls, and all that stuff there. You can also transfer your, your phone back to transfer the call back to your phone if you want to have a private conversation instead of the whole conversation being played through the speakers apps once you register you can have access to paid features like Wi-Fi hotspot um, now travel link is a paid feature but you get that for like five years I think and uh, it has real-time information like your weather and stuff but the my favorite thing is fuel prices and you can sort by brand uh, distance or price and uh, let's say, um, and this is helpful if you're in an area that you're not familiar with, it's saying flood warning. It's not even raining, and we're in flatlands. I'm not sure what that's all about. But anyway, we'll close it out. <laughs> but, uh, but let's say you, you choose this gas station here. You click it, and you can go to it go now, and it'll take you to navigation. It'll tell you exactly how to get there. You can also, once you pair your phone, hit the call button and call the call the place and ask them if they have uh, clean restrooms or whatever that you want so these are the icons here at the bottom lots of cool features I'm trying to just kind of hitting the, the highlights there so you can understand how it's used and how how beneficial it is so down here um, this is a back button basically if you go into a certain menu system you hit back and it'll take you out of that menu system uh, you can turn the screen off if it's distracting you you can do that volume is here in addition to the buttons on the steering wheel, your volume is here. You can choose the stations there. Your fan speeds here. Um, these are buttons in addition to what's on the screen. So you don't only, you always have to use the screen to change your climate control. You've got temperature and all that stuff. Your trailer brake gain is adjusted here. Auxiliary switches. These are for extra things that you want to add to the vehicle. Your exhaust brakes are here. Tow and haul is there. Traction control parking sensors you can turn them off in case you have a trailer or something and you don't want it beeping you and driving you crazy there's a 150 watt 115 volt AC adapter here it'll power like a laptop but not like a hair dryer or anything like that pocket there pocket here cup holders big pocket place to put business cards power supply you've got the same large pocket there on the side of the console for papers or mail or a file folder stuff like that pocket there armrest with awesome stitching um, badge there longhorn badge this lifts up and uh, under here is like a storage place um, very useful for like a small like a tablet or a small laptop and this is where you find your inputs SD card auxiliary and USB inputs and you have a USB charger there very handy stuff <clears throat> and you're probably wondering I said it had a CD player, but you don't see one yet. That's because it's down here. There's your CD player. 
large pocket there and there's a single disc CD player glove compartment there as well as down here now this 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 truck does have a cellular connection even if you don't have a cell phone and you can push 911 it'll dial it for you and also you got road side assistance button here auto dim rear view mirror you have microphones on the top of the mirror for your Bluetooth system so you can talk clearly without any kind of interference right here is your home link um, garage door openers Sliding glass in the back is opened up with that button. Tap lights. Now, sunroof. It has a it has a shade, which is good. But you can also vent it and you can also open it. Open it up all the way. I just kind of showing you, but it can go open up all the way. This does have the premium Alpine sound system. It has a little badge up there. And you saw the, the subwoofer and all that. Really sounds good. Can't tell turn the music on or I'll get uh get in trouble with YouTube for copyright infringement. Alright, so let's look um, underneath the hood. After we kind of look back here, see what the awesome truck looks like. I'm gonna copy and paste all the stuff from the window sticker. But just to give you an idea, the features, you can use the pause button and check it out. Alright, let's pop the hood right here. And I hope that, you know, you're, if you're interested in buying one of these trucks, you can go to the dealership now and you can be a darn expert on the truck. But there, it has two batteries. They're both um, insulated. Keep make sure they last longer. any questions let me know my name is Mike and uh, if you have any clarifications corrections anything to add anything anything at all just leave it in the comments and I'd really appreciate it all right thanks for watching see you next time